there's too many people in the world that just don't know how to put their phones down. Clap it. The world would be such a better place if some people just learn how to put down their phone. <laughs> how you guys doing? My name is Hero. This is Coding with Strangers, and I want to talk about something. Uh, if you are a person of the internet especially of the internet and its drama you are probably familiar with wordpress and i have a i have something i want to admit here um i know of wordpress but i've never directly come into contact with it even though it's a brand of company that people have used to make multi-million dollar um facilitated jobs off of it and the things that it's willing to do and the fact that it impacts about 43 percent of all internet websites websites are built on wordpress people's blogs people's expect um from what we'll find out here people's whole entire livelihood uh were built off off of wordpress and your ability to navigate wordpress really speaks to your ability to make money or create content on the internet it's your outlet. It's your form of doing that. The, one of the great things about WordPress, as what we'll come to find out, is that it's an open source project. And open source projects are probably the lifeblood of the Internet. Open source basically means it's free to use for anybody, whether you're an individual, a company, a startup, new, old, whoever you are, whatever you are. As far as you're following the regulations stated um, by the guidelines, and one of those regulations is that you have to pay them, it's considered open source. And there are different levels and tiers to open source. Um, there are rules and regulations. There are actually laws that go into this. But for the most part, you can think of open source as a very rudimentary, you can use it. And for the people who are coming here or don't know, um, I'm not going to delve in, uh, dive headfirst into the, like, the nitty gritty technical aspects of this. You don't come here for that. You come here for my, my opinions on, on the nuanced of situations, and I try and give nuanced opinions on them. And one of the nuanced opinions on this, and what you have to know about WordPress, is that their owner, who is Matt, um, basically was pushed, was pushed no, before he was pushed, this person, Matt, wasn't feeling appreciated. But let's just let's just call this what it is. This person, Matt, wasn't feeling appreciated. And there there's an old African adage, uh, proverbial phrase about the boy that burnt down the village. They talk about how if you don't give appreciation and warmth and love to a child, he will burn down a village in order to feel the warmth of something. And the thing that, you know, the thing that's that's crazy about it, a lot of people will then try to to give the child warmth and love after they've committed their first their first act of sin. But by then it's already too late. Your warmth will never equal the heat the the heat of his of his of his enemies right so to reverse something like that is going to require a lot of work so i say all this to say when someone presents themselves especially in today's day and age where just acknowledging you're wrong could could literally break people's mental faculties like people just do not have the mental facilities to handle debates on the internet anymore uh w w wise wise conversations like people can't do it without wanting to fight we covered a story here a few weeks ago about a dude who was playing on a server that was shutting down in two days and his and his arch rival from four states south of him kept wouldn't log off to just let the kid play in peace he kept beating him and he beat him so many times that he booked the flight and went to his house to go put his head and hammer his head in. We were talking about a video game that was going offline for the rest of his life. And all he wanted to do was win a game. And th those actions and those responses aren't normal. But also, there is a part of me that feels like I get where this individual is coming from. I, I understand wholeheartedly where Matt is coming from. 
Matt's execution is what's wrong, right? It's the Thanos effect. Do you remember how many psychopaths back in the day when the end game was happening? Like, yeah, Th- Thanos has a good point. Thanos has a good point. No, Thanos doesn't. Thanos had a real life problem. He had the tools to multiply everything by two, three, four. But Thanos didn't want to solve a problem. Thanos wanted to make people suffer the way he suffered when he told people about this problem and they ignored him. Thanos wanted to be heard, so he snapped to make sure everyone was quiet. But I don't really want to bore you guys with the whole entire history of what happened. So I found this useful Reddit post that talks about it. And it basically explains it in under five minutes, which is great. And this was the head one. I really loved it. It got to the point, And I think it covers it all. And maybe we'll read a few more if we need to. Maybe we'll cover a few more if we need to. Uh, explain me, explain me the WordPress drama like I'm five. <laughs> uh, that's adorable. Can someone explain exactly what is going on? Are we doomed? Is it time to switch to SMTH else? So I'm assuming that's something, something, oh, that's literally something. Wow, this person's internet, uh, grammar is amazing. Uh, this person, David Fry, and I'm assuming that David Fry is cool because he says he's a developer and we, and we, and we like, you know, we mess with developers, clap it up. We like developers. A lot of open source program languages have one person that runs things for WordPress. That person's name is Matt. We've confirmed that. And he is one of the co-founders. While we've all thought of his, of this as a community project, Matt has a company called Automatics and a nonprofit that play key roles. So Automatic in is a nonprofit. Um, and basically with nonprofits such as like this, you can trademark things and you can charge people for your trademarks, but nonprofits are 503C, so they get taxed differently. They get uh, resources and accommodations differently. Um, for him to have made WordPress this multi conglomerate project and not be uh, taxing folks, uh, this is the thing was but essentially uh, the theory of nonprofits was to be that they don't, they're not in it for the money. They're in it for the service. But mo- you can go out, uh, for, for instance, a lot of nonprofit companies are OPOs, organ procurement companies, uh, but they make a profit. Their CEOs rank in the monks of five billion. There are many companies that specialize in hosting WordPress sites and Automatic is one of them. One of their biggest competitors is WP Engines. So that would be WP Engines. So WP standing for WordPress. Automatic holds the trademark for WordPress, but everyone has been allowed to use WP in their branding. The way the law works is if you don't defend your trademark, it cannot. It can be difficult to enforce in the future. And I know this to be true because as a person who owns several trademarks, I do have to enforce them. And even in my enforcement clause, I have to make mention of like, say for example, um, coding with strangers, the stranger. I trademark the stranger, but every time, say for example, someone makes fan art, do I send them a cease and desist order? No. The, the idea is that parody and things of those natures can do that as long as it's not being done in a in a bad faith to harm or can be perceived at night. It could even be it doesn't even have to. It doesn't matter if it's bad faith as long as it can't be perceived as harming the brand. Someone making fan art for me couldn't wouldn't be perceived as harming the brand. Now, if someone wanted to make a channel and say coding with thieves and they just made my they took stranger and just turned his scrubs green and made it a TV set instead of a computer monitor, like, then I could be like, hey, wait a minute. (laughs) Wait a minute. That's a little, don't you think that's a little strange? Your Honor? But once again, it's the the Odin's is on you to enforce it. So you have to be vigilant. You have to enforce it. And the thing that's kind of wild about this is before the enforcement of this started happening, 
they quietly changed that the WP is now trademarked and they own the rights to it. So this WP engine, they are, uh, while they probably couldn't um, win the trademark lawsuit against WP Engine, they were hoping to pressure WP Engine into paying 8% of revenue to Automatic. So they wanted 8% of their revenue, 8% off the top for being able to use WP Engine. And it's, let's make no qualms here about it. Matt doesn't like WP Engine if this couldn't be easily deciphered. Matt has a vendetta and he's using his company to enforce this vendetta. Matt is mad because his company doesn't get the same beneficial treatment that say a uh, for-profit company gets so matt puts in all this blood sweat and tears to make his system work and his team great then here comes this other company out of left field who essentially does the same thing but puts in less work contributes less time they don't come back and tell them about things that they've updated or changed to their code because once again it's open source you can take it and do whatever you want with it but Matt doesn't like the fact that a company can use his, it's like, it's basically like this. Matt doesn't like the fact that he, like in Dragon Ball Z Sparking, you both using the same character, but he's better with the character than you are. He, this is your main character, but he's better with it. So it can't be your main character. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta give that shit up. Matt's mad he's getting beat on, at a, and his, on his home field in his own house. His mama's making dinner for the both of y'all, but you're losing to your friend. Matt wasn't feeling appreciated. He wasn't feeling the love. And I don't, I'm not even going to sit here and make a qualm and think that, like, maybe Matt is hurting for money. WordPress, once again, is one of the biggest platforms on the Internet that's used to make multiple people's livelihoods on the Internet. But Matt just, Matt, Matt either doesn't have friends that could tell him or talk to him. And I watched a video about how... A person named Theo, who's pretty big in our in our space, and I think I've seen him on Primogen stream before. Theo was 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 reaching out to this individual, and I'm gonna be completely honest here. The way Theo was reaching out, not to impose that I know what their relationship is like. I'm gonna assume that their relationship is is, is a is a six out of ten. The way he was reaching out would have made me not want to respond in kind. Even if, like, if I was being bullheaded and that's how you chose to air me out and talk about me and and your and your sentiment is that I am your friend, it, it doesn't give friend vibes. So it's very much so this is a situation where a person has dug themselves in and they're doubling down. And the reason why they're doing it is because they don't know. No one is willing to extend an olive branch of understanding. Everyone's trying to extend the olive branch of trying to make him change and stop what he's doing. Uh, when someone doesn't feel loved and appreciated, they're going to crash out. Did I turn off the stove? Hold on. Let me go make sure my house isn't burning down. Hey, bro. I think I'm going to head on in for the night. I'm kind of tired. No problem. Get some rest. Hey, didn't you work today? 12-hour shift. And you went to the gym? PR to 700 deadlift. And you still got energy to do all this work? Where does the energy come from, bro? <laughs> I'm at my best when I have my zest, baby. Get zest? The zest super berry samba green tea comes packed with 135 milligrams of caffeine and L-theanine. That's how I stay focused for longer and stronger throughout the day with no crash. It's way better than coffee or any of those sugar-filled energy drinks out there. No GMO, gluten-free, and it won't stain your teeth. Oh yeah, that sound real good is this one, right? Yes, sir, that's the one. But my brother in Zest, I'm gonna need you to get your own Super Berry Samba green tea. Selfish. You mad, bro? Don't worry, I got you. Use my promotional code down below to get 20% off selected items and the subscriptions. That's Coding with Strangers, all one word. Put that in the checkout box and you'll be good to go. Thank you so much to Zest for the sponsorship. And now that, now that, and once again, I like I said, I'm not familiar with their relationship. I'm pretty sure Theo had every good intention of coming off as a friend, but you know, yelling and 
yelling at somebody and I, I don't know, there's something about airing airing your grievances out in public, washing your laundry in public that I just don't agree to. So maybe that's the part that I find off putting and maybe that's just the dynamic of their relationship. I don't know. But um, if that was me, I would have felt like this person didn't have my best interests at heart. And with that being said, the question becomes, what is the best interest here? Who, 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 who is the winner? Who's the loser? And who's going to get hurt the most in this? And then in this three dynamic, we have WordPress, which is Matt. We have the users, people like me and you. And then we have a company that is taking advantage. And I don't mean that in the demonstratory way, but taking, doing what open source is designed to be done. Take something and improve on it. And if you choose to make money on it, so be it, right? There are different classifications you could put on your open source projects if you trademark them. But this really begs the question, do we need to make some changes to the way we conduct open source projects for users, for owners, and for people who want to use proprietary information and technology in the future? Do we need to change that language? Do, do, do open source projects need to be, have scopes surrounding them? Not to say that they don't already have it, but do we need to start really considering that for projects that have ballooned into these Mastodon projects that could wipe out someone's whole entire livelihood or 43% of the internet if they choose to, right? So first things first, we'll talk about Matt because whether we like it, whether you like it or not, I empathize with Matt. I, I know what it feels like to not be appreciated or to feel like someone's using your gambit to make more and do more with them with your potential opportunities uh the one reason why i can't fully agree with matt is because you know he used the guise of open open source and a lot of people use the guise of open source to make their name a name for themselves or get their start in the industry it's the reason why i was able to start programming and i'll keep it 110 percent all my adobe shit and all that that's for the birds i mean I paid for it once and I'm using that same copy to the death of me. You feel me? They're not going to get no extra money from me. And the thing that Matt needs to realize is that with that open source moniker, you left yourself vulnerable. There was nothing stopping Matt from taking another approach or another idea and making that for profit and going to be the businessman he wanted to be. But when you decided to go the open source route, you left yourself vulnerable to bigger, smarter, faster, stronger companies coming in and taking that swoop from underneath you. And that's what happened. That's what happens. But moreover than that, when we have projects that have scaled and ballooned to this size, such as WordPress, this is why it's so important for them to have board of directors. Board of directors are so important to have. I have a company of only two people and I have a board of directors and it's not so much and they don't even know their board of directors, but they are one day I'll pay them. But the reason why you want a board of directors is because you want to be able to make sure the mission statement of your company doesn't get lost in the business business jargon. Your board of directors are designed to keep your company afloat and whatever that is. Now, there are board of directors for for profit companies who understand their only objective is to gain profit. But for nonprofit companies, you can literally say, what do we care about and how do we maintain that? And that's what your board of directors focus on, making sure that the primary mission and objective of the company is solving. It helps you do that. And usually, in large part, my board of directors come in to tell me, am I, do, am I handling my brand appropriately? For example, when I first took on my first sponsor, Zest, shout out to Zest, clap it up for Zest. Shout out Zest. When I first took my first sponsor, that wasn't the first person to approach me. I had hundreds of other sponsors approach me. But my board of directors decided which one would be best for brand integrity. Uh, brand integrity wasn't being thought of here. All the goodwill and good faith that WordPress has brought upon itself has literally been snapped away. Second Thanos reference. And moreover than that, the second issue here is having a PR 
or who is the face of your company. Every company of this size and magnitude needs a PR. You should have a head of communication, someone who deals with all outside communication. There is no reason why a CEO of a company, why the CEO of a company, why is the CEO of a company talking to two people on the internet I believe he had a, uh, and I'm not saying that this is wrong, but he was talking to Primogen, and while he was talking to the Primogen, it was very clear that he was he was not in a good good mental space, he, or at least he wasn't he wasn't adequately prepared to handle conversation on this topic. He was still very emotional, he was still very raw, and he and he was and you could hear the spite in his voice and. You know, good on Primogen for trying to constantly steer the direction where he didn't sound like Lex Luthor. Balding. But damn it. Pull your hair out, dude. You you were sounding like a villain, Matt. And then every day since the lawsuit that has come from WP Engines to stop the defamations, um, he has been tweeting through it. Blocking people, preemptively blocking people, blocking anyone who likes a comment or or a thread on the Reddit to it. Like he's he's tweeting through it. And I'll tell you this from experience. Hey, the best piece of advice. When you think you're probably in the wrong or most likely when you're in the wrong is, yo, just shut up. Don't say a word. Let you got to. Time will heal all wounds. You need some time, Matt. But the face of the company matters. Elon Musk came up on stage two days ago to talk about all these cool technologies he has. No one even no one's even remotely thinking what he's saying is true. Furthermore, to push it to the point, the fact that he was at the Tesla thing took attention away from the fact that he landed a spaceship back on the platform it was launched off of using basically the essentials of catching a fly with chopsticks. That's something Jackie Chan did in the Karate Kid. But we can't even take a second to appreciate that because it's Elon Musk. The face of the company matters. And if the face of the company is known for being a deranged lunatic who will lie and carry a sink into a building that he's prepared to destroy the company of, maybe we don't take him so serious. Maybe we're not going to take him so serious, you know? The, who are the real victims of this? And when I was looking up this story, I found that there was seven people who were literally in shambles on Twitter, in the threads, asking Matt to reconsider, begging him, pleading with him, because their whole entire company identity runs off of WP Engines. And Matt' response wasn't empathy, it wasn't reaching out or trying to figure out how to do things. It was telling them, maybe you need to move your platform over to automatics. He purposely destroyed someone's life just to make a buck off of it. It's, it's, it's called trauma farming. It's called uh, it's called trauma capitalization, capitalism. It's called a bunch of stuff. But your your feign ignorance has real life disastrous, dilapidated consequences. And I don't know, like this is this is the stuff that makes people want to punch you in the face on the internet. That's what they say. Right. That's why you get these hateful responses, because your your innate inability to empathize with other people as you seek to be understood. Is is the perfect mirror to look at as you try and find the solutions to your problems, Matty boy. But open source needs to, needs to change. Um, we need to roll. We need to roll back. We need to have rollback protections for open source projects where. Once they hit a certain threshold of usability and understand like and it's understood that the com removal of this product would cause inherent damages or change that that is now um, that is now time capsuled and now stored where people can where people can like you pay, you pay the, like sort of like um, a patent where you just the you 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 hand it over to the to the government or you promise to maintain it as a company but that you can you will not receive anything more for it. it's like when a 
when a uh, when when uh, Steamboat Mickey Mouse went into syndication, I can put Mickey this I can put this Mickey Mouse up on screen now. I could do it. I could put him on the cover. Because he's out of syndication, anyone can use him. Stuff like when the poo, same thing, right? When uh, when something has its derivative has now made a cultural shift, and you've gone the open source route, you got to be willing to give that up to the community. Hey, pour it out to the to the game. We all take L's into the game. I took L's to the game. Homegirl never called me back. I gave her my best line in the club. My best line at the club. She didn't call me back. You got to take L's. Something we can also steal from the corporate world, a board of directors for companies of this magnitude and stature, just to make sure that the primary focus of the company remains intact. And a lot of people are asking, what is the primary focus or what should have been the primary focus of this company? And it's quite simply the users. The fact that users have to literally... Ch if you've been doing this for 10 years and this is your livelihood, this is how you make money, this is how you've made, imagine getting a call from all 150 of your clients saying their WordPress website isn't, their website is down or saying that their ser their services aren't working and your ex your only response to them is, I'm, I'm pleading with the owner on Twitter as he's tweeting through it. That's not the... That level of security um, and ner uh, the, the, the confidence to go out on your own and make your own business and then for that business to succeed and then that business to be held on the qualms of, uh, of the feelings, of the emotional intelligence, of the lack of empathy of a single individual who just wanted to be recognized, that's devastating to hear. So, like I said, this isn't my, my goal here wasn't to assess whether he's right or wrong, he's he is wrong but i understand why he wants to be right and part of the reason why he'll never be perceived as right in this situation is because one he wanted to be the good guy two he was actually the bad guy and then three when you say you're giving you're doing something for you know the people you better mean that shit because the people will come get their cut you feel me clap it but that's just my opinion on this. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe. Matt, are you watching this? Matt, your redemption, your redemption arc can start here. Come, let's talk about it. I, I understand you. As a personal, as a as a personal hater, I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> you hate to see your enemies do better than you, but there's a way we could have done this better. I'm pretty sure of it. Matt, come on to the show. Let's, let's start to the